Every year, approximately 5.5 to 6.7 million bats die due to common diseases. Hello, my name is Michael Esbrook, and today we're going to be talking about the war on bats. The reason I chose bats is I find bats very interesting. Ever since I was younger, I would watch documentaries and TV shows that would relate to bats, such as Steve, Steve Irwin, um, Animal Planet, and the movie We Bought a Zoo, um, directed by Cameron Pro. Sorry. Um, some facts about bats is that bats are mammals. Um, one fact that I found out is that they give birth to live young, and their young typically take four to six months to mature to the point of being independent and being able to find their own food. Bats are insectivorous, which mean which means that they um, eat bats. Um, approximately 70% of bats are insectivorous, and the other 30 um, eat fruits and some drink blood. Sorry about that. Um, bats are also a great form of insect control. They typically bats will eat 40% to under 100% of their body weight. Um, for my research, I focused on two types of two common diseases in bats. I focused on white nose syndrome and rabies. White nose syndrome is an invasive skin infection, fungal skin infection, excuse me, that um, attacks the fat storage. White nose syndrome was first discovered in 2006 in New York in a local cave. It has a 75 to 100 percent mortality rate. And as of right now, the only cure is if, sorry. Um, white nose syndrome is transmitted via clothing or trash that is left in caves whenever people come to visit. And every year, once again, approximately 5.5 to 6.7 million bats die just due to white nose syndrome. The second disease I covered was rabies. Rabies is an acute, progressive, and fatal encephalitis, which means it is an inflation in the brain, which causes um, many, sorry. Um, rabies is typically transmitted by direct bites, saliva that is in an open wound, or neural tissue that is exposed into an open wound. Its symptoms usually consist of dizziness, fatigue, um, a fever, loss of appetite, delirium, fear, or hallucinations. As of right now, if you get rabies, there is no set cure, but if you have symptoms, it's best to get shots. That way, the infection can be slowed. Um, for my product, I made a bat house. Bat houses. My bat house was 26 and a half inches by 12 inches by one and three fourths inches. My bat house took me approximately eight hours to make, and I did it in my local garage that I have in my house. Bat houses are very important. Bat houses allow um, bats a safe place to rest, and it allows them to be safe from the diseases. Another great thing is that bats help pollinate plants and you can make great fertilizer from their droppings. For my product, I used a power drill, a circular saw, a chalking gun, a paintbrush, clamps, and a level. Um, for the process of my bat house, I pre-drilled holes. I then made grooves into the wood. That way the bats can latch on and climb in. I then chalked pieces of wood that way it would seal it. Um, this is me using the clamps to make sure that they actually seal properly, and those last two are me painting the bat house. For my challenges, I had financial management and mentor issues. For financial management, a, I, before I never really had a sense of fiscal responsibility, um, I would always spend my money right when I got it and just not save it up. For this, I had to save up my money in order to buy the lumber from our local lumber yard, which was true value. And actually, I made a budget for that. Um, for my mentor issues, I had a lot of trouble co um, contacting my mentor. So most of my product, for most of my product, I had to do it by myself. 
Thank you. Do my judges have any questions? Thank you.